I really love the sport rugby and I always loved playing it and it was one of those things where my mind was just set on the game and nothing else around me and I wanted to feel that again. I never felt comfortable playing it as a gay man. So when I kind of discovered the Sydney Convicts, it was a really great in to getting that feeling back, but also being comfortable with who I am and, and the community I was a part of. Right. Set. Ready, and two, three. First time I went down, I was so anxious and so scared, I actually saw the plays and left and walked back to my car. High school rugby was a different experience for me. I went to an all boys school and versus other schools that had a very toxic masculine culture. And I was called slurs on the field, but I don't think it was because of who I was. I think it was just the language that people used and young men kind of were taught that this is how you behave if you are playing a masculine sport, you know? It's okay to let these things happen. It was one of the places in the world as a teenager I really didn't feel comfortable navigating. And so that's why I kind of walked away from it as soon as high school finished. I think anything that is a highly physical sport is associated with being masculine. However, I think we're seeing that change um, rapidly in society. I mean, I'll stand and watch women's 15s teams and they'll hit hard, if not harder than us men do. But I think that is a misconception both from viewers and players that just because it's physical means it's highly masculine. I think the club culture is where that bravado and um, macho kind of idea comes from rather than the game itself. I think it was the knowledge coming into the first training that I'm surrounded by people who are like me, um, that it's nothing to be shamed about on the field. And I think from that has grown a massive support and like a massive kind of reflection on who I am as a gay man, what I can be, and the fact that there aren't limits to what I can do because of who I am. Um, and playing with the convicts really like instilled and reminded me of that. So I think it's that support network and also knowing I'm not alone.